In this tutorial, I will explain what HMAC is. HMAC stands for Hash Based Message Authentication Code and is used to verify the integrity and authenticity of a message. HMAC can be used with any iterative cryptographic hash functions such as MD5, SHA1, SHA256, and SHA512 in combination with a shared secret key. If used with MD5, it is called HMAC MD5. If used with SHA1, it is called HMAC SHA1, etc. More information, see this link. Once the HMAC hash is calculated, the message must be sent alongside the HMAC hash. Now I will explain how HMAC is used. Step 1. Bob and Alice shared a secret key. Step 2. Bob creates a message. Step 3. Bob calculates the HMAC hash. The message and the shared secret key is used as input in the HMAC SHA1 algorithm. This algorithm outputs the HMAC hash. Step 4. Bob sends the message, this message, and the HMAC hash to Alice. Step 5. Alice calculates her HMAC hash. She used the received message and the shared secret key as input in the same HMAC SHA1 algorithm. This algorithm outputs a HMAC hash. Step 6. Alice verifies the message integrity and authenticity by comparing the received HMAC hash and her calculated HMAC hash. If both values are the same, then the message is not corrupted or not tampered with. And Alice also knows that this message must come from Bob because he is the only person who has the shared secret key. To compute HMAC over a message M, the following steps are applied. HMAC is constructed by hashing the XOR of the secret key K with the outer padding OPAD, concatenated with the hash of the secret key K, XOR with the inner padding IPAD, concatenated with the message. The values OPAD and IPAD are constants and were arbitrarily chosen by the HMAC designers. OPAD is this byte value repeated B times. IPAD is this byte value repeated B times, where B is the block size in bytes of the underlying hash function, meaning MD5, SHA1, etc. To compute HMAC in a more understandable way, first calculate the inner key, which is the secret key XORT with the inner padding. Next, calculate the outer key, which is the secret key XORT with the outer padding. Next, calculate the inner hash, which is the inner key concatenated with the message and then hashed. And then calculate the HMAC, which is the outer key concatenated with the inner hashed and then hashed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.